Okay. Just begin by finding your mat, having your space around you, just lying back, relaxing for a moment. Allow your weight down into the floor. Take a few moments here, a few breaths to relax. Allowing the weight of your body to completely fall onto the floor. Limb by limb, heavy, heavy down towards the ground underneath you. Smile, relax. Smile deeper, relax deeper. And you can go ahead and readjust your position and your back. See if you find something a bit differently comfortable. Maybe something adjusts after a few moments of lying on the floor. Put your attention at the back of the heels. Allow the weight of your feet down into the floor, to the back of the heels, touch with the mat. Space inside your ankles. Heavy shin bones on the right and on the left. Relax calf muscles into the floor, lower part of the leg. Relax the knees, allow them to fall open if they wish to fall open. Space inside the knees, above the knees. Heavy thighs, on the left and the right. Hip joints relaxed. Pelvis relaxed, heavy. Abdominal muscles like water. All the internal organs soft. Leaning on the lower back from inside. The arch in the lower back. No effort. From the 
tailbone to the base of the ribs. Lower ribs connecting to the middle spine. Rib by rib, you can climb with your awareness up through the whole rib cage. Heavy, soft, relaxed. Connecting to the direction down. Chest bone heavy. The whole rib cage from the chest bone through the ribs to the spine that connects the ribs in the back. Heavy and mobile. Soft. Allowing the breath to flow freely without any effort. <sighs> Clavicle bone on the right, open towards the right shoulder. Connecting to the shoulder blade, soft into the ground, heavy. The right shoulder, down the bone of the upper arm, towards the elbow. Elbow open, relaxed, forearm heavy, wrist, palm of the right hand, every finger. Clavicle bone on the left, open towards the shoulder. Left shoulder blade, soft into the ground. Left shoulder, down the upper arm towards the elbow, elbow open. Forearm heavy, wrist, palm of the left hand, and every finger from the base to the fingertip. And smile. Base of the neck. Open. The front of the neck back of the neck, little arch, the back of the neck, from the base of the neck to behind the skull, the back of the head, 
and your head is heavy and your smile is heavy and you relax even more and smile and take a deep breath in and out waking up deep breath in no effort just relax yeah one more deep in full 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 and relax even more yeah soft 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 into the floor smile And then start anchoring the back of your heels into the floor, into the mat, and then leaning into the mat, flexing and pointing your feet a little bit. in a way that the movement starts to climb up your body to create some kind of a waving shape. And play a little bit with the rhythm. Go a bit slower, a little bit faster, very fast, very slow. Play with it for a few moments. Also play with the position of the, of the heels until you find a place that is both comfortable and you find a rhythm that is comfortable for you. The rhythm of this wiggle. And the rhythm of this wiggle for now is the rhythm that fits in this moment. It might change later. You don't need to commit to it too much. But find, see if you find a rhythm, a wave flexing and pointing your feet, um, not with the emphasis on the flex and the point, but the emphasis on leaning the heels to the floor and sending the movement up. They don't have to completely flex or completely point. They can do less and less easy until you find a wave that goes from the heels into the ankles, up the legs that are, for now, maybe partly st straight, maybe partly bent, maybe mostly straight and partly bent, into the hips, pelvis might be rolling a bit up and down. And there's really not a lot of uh, specific rules here. Just find a rhythm of a shape that starts from the heels, and goes up the body and allow your body to participate in it, to agree to it, to see how it can participate in a way that uh, allows the rhythm to continue. If some muscular tension around the legs are, you feel is becoming tense, then do less, change something. You can also change the rhythm, just as long as you find this wave all the time, up and down, up and down, up and down. Smile, allow it to flow. Yeah, from the feet, anchoring back into the floor. 
up towards the knees, the knees participating. And maybe the knees can take over sometimes to make it easier for the feet. But this movement up and down the body from bottom to top, from feet to head, keeps happening. And there is some kind of a rhythmical sense to it. Maybe you even like hear the music of it in your head or something you can follow. And allow it to morph, allow it to change. If it changes, allow it to change. Go with it, wherever it goes. Playing on the initiators between the feet and the knees. Feet, in, feet initiate the movement, knees initiate the movement. Knees initiate the movement and the feet support. Feet initiate the movement, maybe knees support. Allowing the feet to also roll a little bit in and out separately from each other. Maybe at one moment, one foot is taking over and the other one is allowing the movement to flow and just resting on top of it. Yeah, and then maybe the other foot is taking over. The heel into the floor, the knee jumping and straightening, bending. And keep changing, disorganizing. You don't have to commit to one operating way. You can keep changing the, the initiator, the leader, change the leader, change the initiator of the movement and change the supporters and allow the supporters to become a bit more enthusiastic about the movement and smile, open the movement up into your hips so the hips can start initiating the movement a little bit, allowing it to flow up from the heels to the knees to the hips and feel like uh, there is some kind of musicality inside your body. Every point of rhythm is, a, is an anchor. And that anchor you can use in many ways. You can use that anchor and anchor it in many different points of your body. So you can anchor the rhythm into your heel. If you anchor the rhythm into your heel, then it's your heel that gives the beat. Cha, 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 cha. Another and another and another and another and smile. And then you can anchor to the heel and add what the knee is doing. The anchor is now spreading from the heel to the knee. You have the rhythm of the heel and the rhythm of the knee. And they're working together, but they also have their own musicality each. And that expands the, it enriches the rhythm, enriches the rhythm and you can anchor another point into your hip joint. So you have, a heel, anchoring, rhythm, a knee that is supporting that rhythm, that is feeding from that rhythm, that is anchoring into its own rhythm, the smile, and anchoring to the rhythm of the hip. And then start moving in between them. Heel, knee. 
hip joint on the right side, the left side. And this can happen much, much faster than how I can say it in words. So allow it to change as fast as it feels like. Maybe you stay for a while in one rhythm, in one initiator, in one supporter, in one uh, play. And maybe you keep changing up between the right and the left and the knee and the heel and the hip joint on the right side and the heel on the left side. They can communicate through the rhythm. The heel on the right side can communicate with the left knee, sending movement from one to another, sending rhythm from one to another, communicating with each other through the movement, through the rhythm, through anchoring, smile, and allow it to become faster than you can think about consciously. Just kind of dive into the experience and see if there is things that can happen in your body that you maybe understand only on a rhythmical level without knowing exactly what's happening there, but you feel that there is some kind of a rhythmical logic to it and you just go with it. Even if you disorganize that logic, it's not very logical and it starts to be messy, allow it to also mess, mess it up. Mess it up and smile and send from the knee to the heel, to the hip joint on the other side, to the knee on the other side, to the hip joint on the other side, to the heel on the other side, to the knee on the same side, to the hip joint on the other side, to the heel on the same side, just sending, 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 and smiling. And allow that to take over. If something feels too much, if something feels like you're in effort, just um, slow it down a bit, cool it down, but keep the rhythm of movement happening all the time. You want to stay calm on top of the movement. Stay calm, smile, stay calm on top of the rhythm. Clean out any kind of... Uh, big ambition to do a lot or to understand or to succeed here just to go with the rhythm even if you get stuck to one rhythm for a long time allow it to happen if there is something opening up to you there go with it smile to it and let's allow our attention to also open up into the pelvis Pelvis here has been rolling for a while, up and down, and diagonals, and sometimes side to side, and the whole 360. And you can use that movement as a rhythmical idea. A circle can take a beat, and if you take a circle every beat, you have a rhythm. A wave up and down, maybe two waves up and down, maybe three waves of side to side every time that the one beat of the rhythm is happening from the foot. Don't think about it, just play with it. Play with the rhythm of the feet to the knees, to the hip joints, to the pelvis. And pay attention now also to the pelvis from the pubic bone in the top to the sit bones at the bottom and the uh, tailbone behind. Yeah. Allowing yourself to maybe sometimes lean a bit more to one side of the pelvis. Allowing the sit bone to arrive closer to the floor. You can stand one of your feet. Yeah. Smiling. Going with the rhythm and allowing it to change all the time. Almost like there is a, you're riding some kind of a crazy, crazy horse when you are on your back, lying on your back, but riding a horse that's underneath you. Allowing that rhythm to constantly change 
like the terrain that the horse is riding on is constantly changing. You have to adjust yourself all the time. And smile and open it up even more, allow yourself to breathe freely. Remember to calm it down and stay calm on top of it. From the foot to the knee, from the other foot to the other knee, from the knee to the hip joint on the cross side, from the cross side hip joint to the knee back on the other side, all the way into your pelvis, rolling and, and waving and messing it up a little bit, opening it up into your belly, soft, soft belly, soft abdominal muscles, into your lower back and the lower arch, the belly, the pelvis, the lower back, the arch of the lower spine, waving up the spine, through the bottom of the ribs, all the way up to the base of the neck, and all the way up to the skull, the whole spine, participating. Every vertebra has its own rhythmical point. The rhythmical point is the point where it touches the rhythm where it refers to the rhythm, where it communicates, anchors, different anchor points, different uh, communication points, <sighs> smiling, allowing it to become bigger, wilder. And, uh, you can step both your feet and have the rhythm come from knees standing. And the rhythm is still going up and down the body and maybe sometimes from side to side a bit and waving and making shapes like a zigzag and a spiral. Yeah. And smile, 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 sending the movement from the feet to the knees to the hip joints, to the pelvis, through the belly, to the lower back, to the lower spine, through the whole spine, the ribs, <coughs> sorry, the base of the neck, into the neck, all the way up to the head, the whole spine and the rhythmical points that it touches. And it can still keep changing. The rhythm doesn't have to be repetitive. It can be a changing rhythm. Constantly, constantly anchoring and letting go and anchoring and using references and letting go and using the references, anchoring again, expanding the rhythm, collapsing into the rhythm. The rhythm of the movement can be very fast and it can change if you feel like you need a change yeah, and smile the whole spine and the spine connection point into the ribs from the lower ribs that are floating one by one starting to connect also to the movement, to participate in the movement, to give some kind of musicality to this new movement, some kind of a reference, take from the rhythm, transform it somehow, anchor itself into a new position, smile, over, one by one, each rib up from the lower ribs all the way to the top of the rib cage, connecting in the spine in the back and connecting through the chest bone and the sternum in the front. Yeah. 
And if you still had your feet up, you can put them down now. Activate again the heels, knees, hip joints, pelvis. Open belly, smile, into the spine, into the spine, all the way up to the head, and through the ribs, through the lower ribs, into the whole rib cage, and each one of the ribs connecting to a different part of the rhythm, and the chest bone having its own rhythm. And you have a lot of drummers inside your body, and each one of them has their own and you can disorganize the rhythm a little bit. Ah, yeah, and smile and allow yourself to go and become a bit overwhelmed with information. Go even further away with, with it. Anchor yourself into the movement, into the rhythm, into the multiplicity of rhythms without understanding it, just smiling and keeping them alive and changing and disorganizing and making a little bit of a mess. Yes, yes, yes. And smile, smile, smile. And keep going and coming down a little bit. Yeah, keep going with the rhythm and find again a very clear rhythm. One that maybe goes through the most of the body now. And see if you can start connecting a lot of anchors together. The heels and the knees and the hip joints and the pelvis. And the lower belly, up the spine that might be wiggling all over and the rib case in the chest, into the neck and the head. And then that rhythm, the clear that it is, starts to fall apart. It's clear, but it's like it's melting. And each one of the melting points of that rhythm creates another sub-rhythm, and another anchor to another sub-rhythm, and another anchor to another sub-rhythm. And each one of them can start being alive here and have their own way of communicating through the movement of the body. Yeah. And from the bottom of the neck, the front of the neck, and the top of the rib cage, we have the clavicle bone on the right and on the left, opening, falling down each towards its shoulder, shoulder blades, right on the right side, the left on the left side, underneath the Rib cage, right shoulder blades sliding underneath the rib cage on the bottom next to the mat on the floor, communicating with the rib cage there, sending movement, having its own input into the rhythm and from the rhythm, Finding the same kind of a connection in the left side, smile, connection, left shoulder blade into the left bottom of the rib cage. Yeah, underneath the rib cage, into the floor, leaning the shoulder blades into the floor and away from each other, and closer to each other, towards the spine and away and down towards the back of the pelvis and up towards the ears, which one by itself, and also two of them communicate with each other through the chest with the rhythm of their own. And both shoulders are participating in upper arms. Yeah. Rhythms that come in through the elbows. Elbows also can lean into the floor, give rhythms into the body, through, through the shoulders into the chest. Through the chest, that rhythm echoes and goes down the legs, merging with some of the rhythms 
that are coming from the legs, merging with some of the rhythms that are going up the head, maybe changing the rhythm that goes from the leg to the head. The rhythm going from the leg to the head is one, and then the rhythm coming from the, uh, from the elbows to the shoulders into the chest is another, and they might merge and make the head go in different, in a whole different rhythm. A new rhythm, a new anchor point is, is being uh, created there. And every point where uh, two rhythms cross each other, ripple on top of each other, that's a point where there is a new anchor is created and from that a new rhythm is created and a new echo of movement is going through the body. And the two elbows and the two forearms into the wrists, into the palms of the hands, yeah, and a lot of movement coming from the palms of the hands. Each finger can push into the floor, can resist the floor by giving some, uh, some push, some leaning into the floor. Yeah, changing up the rhythm between the arms. The arms can work together and they can work apart. Rolling the arms and closing them back down, and rolling them up and closing them back down. They can come closer to the body, a little bit farther away from the body. Keep the smile going, keep your feet active and your knees active. Ah. And activate the movement in your feet again. And find the rhythm, again, find the rhythm where most of the body parts are communicating, participating with each other. Smile and allow one rhythm to go through the body and see as many participants, participants flowing in that one rhythm. can be a very simple up-down point flex like we did in the beginning. Shoulders to the floor can join that rhythm. Elbows can also join the same rhythm. The head is agreeing with it. The chest is agreeing with it. Pelvis is agreeing with it. Very singular, almost a little bit square. All the way down the hands, both arms, both shoulders, the head, the neck, the whole spine is a unit. The chest, the belly, pelvis, and both legs. One rhythm, chuck, chuck, chuck. Whatever rhythm it is for you, go with that. And smile and keep going with that rhythm and just mess up something in one of the knees and come back. And see how that mess up in the knee affected the rest of the rhythm. Mess up again one hip joint and keep going into the rhythm. And I'll keep messing up from different places every time. You have the rhythm going, going, going up and down, going up and down, and suddenly uh, one of the heels is pushing and giving something completely different. And see how that echoes through the body. And then the shoulder blade, and then the other shoulder blade, and smile, <clears throat> yeah. and the head, 
and from one knee to another, and from the back of the pelvis. Yeah. And then slowly you have more and more of those that are messing up and less of the rhythm. You're committing more into messing it up and less of keeping the one singular rhythm. And it's somewhere there in the background, but now you are flowing from one echo to another echo, from one echo to another echo, from one echo to another echo. And smile, smile, smile. Yeah. And now, let's go completely of the rhythm and just have all the body parts, all the joints, all your limbs, every anchor into the floor, give its own rhythm, its own directionality, in, out, up, down, into the floor, up towards the air, in a circle, in a zigzag, spiraling, making a dribble, jumping, letting go, smiling, and just disorganizing the whole body, making almost like there is a seizure happening in the body. A big disorganization. Disorganizing everything. And smiling, disorganizing a little bit more on the right side and on the left. Disorganizing a bit more on the left side and on the right. With a big smile, allowing yourself to breathe freely. And staying calm on top of everything. Still there, the calmness, the silence inside. Yeah. Smile. And then completely let go of the left side of your body. And just the right leg, the right side of the pelvis, the right hand, the right arm, the right side of the ribs, the right shoulder, the right side of the neck and the head. They're having their own disorganizing party. And they keep disorganizing. Just the right side. See if you can make that separation. Allowing the left side to stay open, allowing the movement to flow through the left side. It doesn't mean that the left side doesn't do anything. It, uh, it just accepts the movement. It doesn't need to be active. Allowing it. Smiling, smiling more on the right side than on the left. Yes, 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 you're making a big mess. The whole right side jumping up into the up into the air, letting go. And the left side is completely relaxed here, just allowing the movement to flow through it. Yeah. And then let's go of the right and start the same thing on the left. Now the right is completely lying on the floor, relaxing and the left is messing up, completely letting go of any kind of rhythmical sense that you can understand, and completely all the time breaking the beat, changing the beat, changing the rhythm, jumping, messing it up, making a big disorganization of the whole left side of your body, from the left foot to the knee to the side of the pelvis, the hip joint, through the belly, the left side of the belly, left side of the ribs, left shoulder belly to the left arm, the whole left arm, into the left side of the neck and the left side of the head, jumping it, letting it go, messing it up. And activate again the right side and the left side together and mess them up in front of each other. The right side is messing up and the left side is doing something else. The right side is messing, the left side is jumping. The left side is leaning, the right side is making a rhythm and then breaking the rhythm. The right side is jumping again, and the left side is relaxing down, and the right side is happy and 
going up or the left side is also happy and messing it up more one side in front of the other the right side and the left and they're communicating but they keep misorganizing all the time yes, 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 yes. and smile 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 and slowly slow it down a little bit keep the movement between the right and the left side all the time and now see if you can find a very calm rhythm, kind of a wave that flows from the right side to the left side. Your weight is going over towards the left and then over towards the right. The head is moving, the chest is moving, and the pelvis and the legs receive one by one a little bit more weight. The arms can support, and you have that rhythm of a wave going from one side to another, one side to another. See if you can find a slow rhythm for a moment, completely opening the right side and opening the left side, opening the right side, releasing the left, opening the left side, releasing the right. Just that. Smile and breathe and relax into it. And then on top of that, just add an extra wiggle. So you have the rhythm of open to the left, open to the right, and then the arms are doing right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left. Find your own rhythm here also, but you have two rhythms. One is Flowing like a wave from one side to another, leaning towards the left side, maybe almost turning to your side, and then leaning to your right side, almost turning to your side, but also finding another rhythm inside of that, a kind of a wiggle, a shake, a shake that goes with your movement from side to side. And slowly, slowly that movement from side to side can start to take you more and more towards the side. You smile, allow yourself to roll all the way to one side. Roll all the way to the other side, yeah. Disorganize your legs and find this Another third rhythm. You have the rhythm of side to side, and you have a rhythm of a slow rhythm of side to side. You have a faster rhythm of side to side, and you have a, another third rhythm of up and down. Yeah, and don't, don't stick to the logic of it. Just start disorganizing, adding more anchors and echoes and allow the rhythms to start to echo and allow it to make no sense at all and smile and keep going even more shifting from one side to another shifting from one side to another sometimes taking your arms and your legs in the air almost like you're hugging a big 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 beach ball here Still, a lot of shake and a lot of disorganizing of the feet, disorganizing of the knees, disorganizing of the hip joints, disorganizing of the shoulders, and the elbows, and the palms of the hands. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. And then with that, slowly, slowly find a way. Into, into leaning on your elbows, leaning back into your elbows, and still going from side to side, disorganizing, allowing the rhythms to change, the anchors to change, smiling, and all of that to flow also into sitting. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean that also here to keep 
disorganizing you, disorganizing, sending one to another, pulling on your elbows, putting your hands back down, going into your knees and maybe on top of your knees into the sixth position, putting your elbows down here and rolling your pelvis a bit front and back. Keep disorganizing the shoulder blades, disorganizing the rib cage, putting your weight down on your knees, allowing that to also here find these organizations. Freeing up your spine, allowing the rhythm to keep changing all the time, smile. Putting your weight back in your hands here for a moment. Disorganizing all the leaning points that you have into the floor and the rhythms that come up from them. So they can come up rhythmically very clear, they can start moving and shaking. And like all the time you have a point that you can grasp onto, you want to change it up. Every time, moment you have some kind of a rhythmical sense, you want to change it up and start changing positions just for a few moments. See if you can start to try a bit of positions that make no sense, maybe something that doesn't, that doesn't feel comfortable in the, in the long run. And just trying out, just moving through some positions just for a moment there. <laughs> Make, make, mixing it up, breathing, smiling, just yeah, yeah, sending the movement out of your body in different rhythmical angles yeah, and echoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And slowly finding a way here to disorganize your body into standing slowly in your own rhythm finding a way to disorganize your body into standing disorganizing here also in standing Completely disorganizing all the movement that starts to come up from the feet and the leaning point into the floor, down and back up, feet, knees, hip joints, into the pelvis, disorganizing from the feet to the knees, disorganizing from the knees to the hip joints. Feet to the hip joints through the knees and the knees to the feet through the hip joints and to the pelvis through the belly and from the feet to the pelvis through the belly to the spine, the lower spine all the way up to the head through the whole spine. Yeah. Cha -cha -cha. From the pelvis to the, to the spine, from the spine to the head, from the pelvis to the head and back down into the knees and back up into the hip joints and down into the feet and up into the head yeah. and spreading through each one of the ribs in the rib cage, in each one of the rib cage, uh, in each one of the ribs in the rib cage want to participate and have their own say here. Cha -cha -cha, and smile and disorganize them. And make a big difference in between each one. Cha -cha -cha, and breaking the rhythm constantly, breaking the rhythm and relaxing on top of it, allowing your shoulder blades to flow down your clavicles to be open, your arms to be heavy, elbows down, forearms, wrists, fingers, sides of the necks, the ears, smile, still here, smile, and disorganize even more for a moment, yeah. Disorganize everything, move around in your, in your space a bit. Smile. And here, just take a moment to completely let go of any kind of rhythm, 
sand, all the movement all around, anything that makes sense and everything that doesn't make sense and breaking it and changing it around and smiling, yeah, yeah, and making a little bit of a fool out of yourself, hitting the fool switch, making, making like a, a rag ball out of your body. Completely relaxing, tuning to the, the inner fool and the inner clown and smile and allow it to go through the body. Yeah, 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 yeah. And take your right arm on the right side of the head and throw it out completely. Chow! In the right arm on the right side of the head and again, throw it out. Chow! One more time on the right side, throw it out with the sound. Still, rhythms are coming in through the body. Left side, left arm, and then Left hand on the left side of the neck and head, and One more time on the left side, and throw it out. The right arm on top of the left, throw it around. One more time here, and Last time on the left side, and throw it out. Left hand on the right arm, completely out. Smile again, make it with a big sound. Let go the air of your lungs and smile. Hit the front, 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 chest, 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 chest. And the ribs, 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 and belly, 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 belly. And lower back, 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 back. And just, 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 just faster, faster. Belly, 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 belly. Side, 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 back, 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 back. Both arms on the side of the whole leg. And yeah. throw it out, the whole leg. And make a sound. Yeah. Yeah. One more time, with a bigger smile. Yeah. Left side, the whole left leg, you're cleaning it out. Yeah. And again, with a bigger smile. Yeah. And one last time with the biggest smile and a big sound. Yeah. <sighs> Let's go. Let's relax for a moment. Take a few steps around your room, around your space. See how your body feels now. Smile again, breathe. Clearly, just stand somewhere where you feel comfortable. Relax for a moment into your feet. Close your eyes. Come back into your breath. Center yourself in your body again. Smile. Standing. Simple standing. Feeling the echoes of all the rhythms that passed through your body. Each and every cell had its own pulse, said its own, sang its own song or gave its own echo into the totality of the whole rhythm that passed through you. Relax into it. See what's still there. What's different from before. Yeah. Good, 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 good. 